Hello and welcome to session three of our DT unit all about moon buggies. Today we're going to be doing a focused practical task focusing on wheels and axles. I'm just going to take you over to the table now so I can show you what you're doing. Okay, so obviously the wheels are the moving part that make your vehicle move and the axle is like the bar through the centre that holds the wheels in place. Now what I would like you to do is I would like you to use different construction materials that you have at home. So I've got Moblo, I've got some Connects, I've got this wooden kit here that you might have Lego and things that you can use as well. So with those construction kits I would like you to try and build just a vehicle, it doesn't need to be a posh vehicle, just a vehicle with some wheels that can move so that you can put the axle and the wheels together. Pause the video now while you go and use your construction materials to make wheels and axles. Thing that you might like to do after you've built some wheels and axles and moving vehicles with your construction materials is to actually make some wheels and axles. So here I have a model that is a moving vehicle. It has two different kinds of wheels and axles. So the top one here has a fixed axle that I have glued in place and on the end of each axle it has free moving wheels. I've stuck the wheels in position using a straw and gluing the straw onto the axle so that the wheels don't fall off the axle but the wheels are free moving. And then the bottom example, I have a free moving axle with fixed wheels. So I've glued the wheels onto the axle so that the wheels don't move. It's actually the axle that's moving. And I've glued this axle holder, which is just a straw, onto the bottom of the box. And then I've threaded the axle through the axle holder so that the wheels will spin and move round. Now I want you to test out which design idea you like the best, whether you like the fixed axle or whether you like the free moving axle, because then you'll have a better idea when you come to make your own moon buggy. There are some other things that you could use as axle holders if you don't have a straw. So you might want to have a little look in your shed to see if you've got any of these things. These are um, um, these plastic things have just got like a hole through the middle and then you can glue them in place onto your box so that the dowel moves freely so that the axle is spinning. You could use anything you like for wheels. I've got these milk bottle tops, but you could use anything. So if you've got cotton reels, you could use cotton reels for the wheels. Um, you could cut out some cardboard discs so that you've cut your own wheels. You might have some big beads or some big counters or something that you could use if you put a little hole in them. The other things that you could use for an axle holder, if you have any of these document um, fasteners, you could use those for axle holders as well. They're like the binders that you put on to um, bind paper documents together. But you may not have those things at home, so you might want to use a fixed axle, that's fine. So I've just got a box, I've got one skewer and I've got a straw. And literally all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my straw in half so that I've got two axle holders. I'm going to cut my axle in half. Now this is a little bit tricky, so I'm going to maybe ask an adult to help. I'm going to just kind of nibble away at the skewer with my scissors and then once I've made an imprint, I'm just going to snap it in half. And obviously I've measured it really, really carefully so that it's the right length. You might want to do the same at home. Then the axle just gets threaded through the axle holder. And then my wheels, I need to make a hole in the middle. So you need to find the middle of the wheel by putting a cross onto the um, circle and then making your hole 
in the, se in the centre. Now you might not have anything to make a hole with. All I'm using is a bottle opener. It's got a nice sharp point and I found out that it makes a hole but it's just perfect to put the skewer into. So then I'm going to fix the wheels in place Gonna make my other hole and push that in so that I've got my axle and my two wheels and my axle holder. Then all I need to do is glue my axle holder in place. Now last week we explored lots of different adhesives, so hopefully you've got an idea of which adhesive that you liked using. Today, because I don't want this to be permanent, I am just going to use sellotape. Literally going to glue the axle holder in place. And there I've got my first set of wheels. Might need to put a little bit of um, sellotape on the end of each wheel just so they don't fall off the axle. And then I can see which one I like. Now, I'm not too sure about the wheels with the bottle holders, so I might just, uh, with the bottle lid, might just swap and maybe put a cotton reel on and see if that's any better. If I don't like that, I might just see if my own cardboard wheels are better than that. So you can have a play about today to decide what kind of wheels you would like to use and which style of axle you would like to use, either a fixed axle or the free moving axle that's in the axle holder. So you're going to experiment and explore today ahead of making our moon buggy next week. Good luck.